So last week I did a video about how to have two different time signatures in the score at once. So like the violin one could be in 9-8 and the rest of them can be in 4-4. Four, four. Now this week we're going to focus on how to have two different key signatures at once. And it's a very, very similar process. And if you learn this, it's a really powerful tool at your disposal. So the first step is once you have your score set up, is we're going to come over to our staff tool. And once you have your staff tool selected, just double click in the staff that you would like to have an independent key signature for. So if we double click it, we take it to this dialog box. Come over here to independent elements and check key signature. Hit OK. And now if we were to add a key signature to the violin one part, it will be different from the rest. So let's right click here and go down to key signature and let's make violin one be in B flat major. And voila, violin one's in B flat major and the rest are still in C. And so if we start editing notes like this, we can clearly hear it playing back as B flat major. And if we were to do C major, it very clearly plays back as C major. And of course, you can have independent key signatures of any type. So if we were to right click on the key signature and go down to other, we could have different hidden key signatures. Hit OK, and as we can see now, the accidentals are showing up rather than the actual key signature. If we were to go down to key signature and have a custom key signature, like maybe have a keyless signature for the top one, it will be keyless as well. Same thing if we want to have any non-standard key signature of any type. It will be different in the individual part where you wanted a separate key signature. That is it for today. That is how you create two separate key signatures in Finale at once, and they play back correctly. So if you found this video at all helpful, make sure to hit the like button so I know you want more content just like this. And each week I post new videos about how to use Finale to its fullest. So if you don't want to miss out on any of those videos, Make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you get notified as soon as a new video comes out.